Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Essie Spring 2022 collection. I found these on Ulta.com. That's the only place so far that I have seen them. I don't have the actual name of the collection. Usually the collection is named after one of the polishes, but Ulta just had it listed as 2022. But these do all seem to be bird themed, which is interesting to me. It's a nice muted pastel palette. So six polishes here all together and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Sing Songbird Along, and this is this muted, dusty pastel yellow. Well, I guess pastel is muted anyway, but it almost looks like if you were to take a normal pastel yellow and then put a couple drops of gray in it. So this one looks pretty good here on the first coat. It did dry a bit more streaky and a bit more sheer than it's showing here on camera. So I did end up needing two coats for this one to cover completely. All of the polishes in this collection this one especially, had a little bit of a thinner formula. It wasn't too thin, but it did take a little bit more care to work with. I had to make sure that I didn't have as much polish on my brush as I normally would so that it didn't run or pool into the sides of my nails. The first time that I used this polish, I did end up needing three coats, but then after I had used it a couple of times because I had to refilm these clips and do swatch photos and whatnot, I was able to get it down to two. So this is going to be two or three coater just depending on your application, but two coats for a pastel yellow is pretty good for me. So that is two coats of Sing Songbird Along. The next polish is called Well Nested Energy, and this is this slightly peachy light nude shade. This is another one that was a little bit more sheer and a little bit more streaky on that first and second coat. You can see this a little bit better on camera than you could with the yellow. So I did end up needing three coats total for this one as well. And like the yellow polish, it was also a little bit thinner. So I did have to be more careful with how much polish I had on my brush. I had to have a little bit less than normal because I didn't want to flood my cuticles and flood the whole area around my nails with polish. This was completely opaque for me in three coats. This is another one that you might be able to get away with two, but I did have to redo this swatch several times and I was hoping that eventually I would get to the point where I'd worked with it enough that I could do two coats and it didn't happen. It was a solid three coater for me. So that is three coats of Well Nested Energy. The next polish is this pale dusty blue shade. It's another one that kind of looks like it has a couple drops of gray in it. This one it did cover better than the previous two polishes right from the get-go. It did have that slightly thinner formula, so again, I had to be really careful and make sure that I didn't have quite as much polish on my brush. I had a few dark spots and streaks on that first coat, but overall it wasn't too bad, and it did cover completely for me in two. And this was a really solid two-coater for me as well. I don't see anyone needing three. Also, I slept with my mouth gaping open last night, so I'm sorry about my voice. So that is two coats of Flight of Fantasy. The next polish is called Stretch Your Wings, and this is this lighter pale purple shade with that couple drops of gray look to it. So I did need two coats on this one. It does have a couple of streaks that I wanted to cover up. Really not bad, but they were more prominent once it dried. The formula is pretty consistent with the rest of the collection, a little bit thinner. And this polish is cool to me because one minute I'll look at it and I'll think that it's a very light purple with that slight dirty, grungy, gray look to it. And then the next minute I'll look at it and it seems more like a lighter pink to me. So I really haven't decided how I'm actually viewing this polish. So that is two coats of Stretch Your Wings. This next polish is called Keep Branching Out and this is a kind of cooler, light tan nude. So this one is another one that covered pretty well on the first coat, but did end up needing two in the end to cover completely. I did have just a few streaks, but it looks pretty good here on camera. This color kind of reminds me of when you put too much creamer in your coffee. So that is two coats of Keep Branching Out. And the last polish is called Spring Awakening, and this is this kind of medium peachy cream. This one also looked pretty good for me on that first coat, just a few little streaks that I wanted to get covered up that did cover completely in two coats. And again, pretty consistent formula across this entire collection, just running a little tiny bit thinner than at least the previous Essie collection that I swatched. So I did have to be a little bit more careful and this does dry darker than it applies. So that is two coats of Spring Awakening. So I actually have two favorites here. Flight of Fantasy and Sing Songbird Along, um, the yellow and the blue. The blue is no surprise. The yellow probably isn't that much of a surprise either, actually, but I just, I really like this. I think that I like this very muted, kind of like, 
I mean this in the best way, like dirty kind of tone that some of these pastels in this collection have. Um, I don't know, I like this collection a lot. But I think I mentioned before that I'm always trying really hard to like Essie, so there might be a little bit of that in there as well, but whatever. Either way, I like it. Although, I will say, I think we could have lost one of these two for a green. I would have been really happy to see a green in here instead of one of those two shades, especially because this one, Spring Awakening, hold on. So Spring Awakening, which is this one, is almost identical to Day Drift Away from the Spoon in the Lagoon collection. They are really, really, really close. And so I think we could have probably dumped this and added a green to the spring collection and I would have been really happy with it. Like a green along the same lines, that kind of like dusty muted pastel. But it is what it is. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So that is the Essie Spring 2022 collection. Again, I found those on Ulta. Um, it is Sunday. This video is going up on Tuesday. Uh, as, as of right now, that's the only place that I've seen them, but I also haven't looked in a couple of days because I have them already, so I haven't been looking constantly. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Have a ton of information about like the actual name.